Good evening. A pre-dawn raid in Brisbane's east has smashed apart the crime hub of an outlaw motorcycle gang. The Highway 61 bikey clubhouse was targeted for drug manufacturing, but police uncovered much more. Visible only to the supporting pole air, armed tactical officers surround the Tingaupa complex and breach the bikey stronghold. Busted by the armoured vehicle, the garage door peels open to reveal Highway 61's headquarters and current home to six people. This morning we executed a search warrant on the clubhouse it was to investigate the suspected drug trafficking activities of Highway 61. Uh, also, um, we investigated and gathered evidence of property crime. A series of raids uncovered ice, MDMA and GHB and a number of weapons. But inside the clubhouse was also a hall of allegedly stolen property, the bounty from thefts across the southeast that police say date back over a decade. People that we've detained this morning and over the last few weeks are, will be charged with those offences. In all, seven people were arrested. Among them, the club's sergeant at arms, Brendan Stainton. He alone is facing 16 charges. This morning's raid here at this industrial complex complex may have been swift and sudden, but the operation that led up to it was anything but. Police have had this clubhouse and its Highway 61 members under surveillance for the past six months. Operation North Veneno targeted the relatively unknown organisation. Highway 61 is one of the largest outlaw motorcycle gangs in New Zealand. They infiltrated Australia in the 80s and appeared in Queensland in 1998. But like many gangs, their membership has dwindled and now only six active members remain in the state. Police are hoping today's raids will wipe them out for good. No, I Sue you. Joel Dry, Nine News. The government's in the process of reviewing the bikey laws. Shane Doherty joins us live. Shane, police want them to stay. Melissa, police, your next door neighbour. Everybody likes these laws except bikies. The review was one of Anastasia Palaszczuk's election promises. And even though she says that there'll be zero tolerance for criminal gangs no matter what, the opposition says the fix is in because the terms of reference for the review are to replace or repeal the laws, not simply decide whether or not they're working. So a difficult problem for the government now, how to balance keeping Queenslanders happy and bikies unhappy. We'll find out how they do it when the review comes in at the end of March. Melissa. All right. Thanks, Shane.